Welcome to highlights of this year's Melbourne Rocket Stedford final. All the action, colour, music and excitement from the National Tennis Centre in Flinders Park is coming your way. Brought to you by Be Your Best and Triple M. Valley Secondary College. Go for it, guys. Killip College and the entertainment has just begun. We'll be back after about to start their performance.
come off stage. What did you feel when you got up there? Rush, adrenaline, it's yeah. unreal. A really big drug free high? Yep, excellent. Thanks to Joseph's College at Chuka. And next up we have Kilbruda College. Get away to Long High School. Tennis Centre in Melbourne, things are really hotting up. But before we see our next act, let's find out what their message is all about. Um, it's about hope, and it doesn't matter who you are or where you come from, and how bad things can get, things will always get better. That's what it's about.
and a talk like me and be an angel too. But maybe you ain't never gonna feel this way. You ain't never gonna know me. But I know you. I'm singing in a thing. Can only get better. Can only get, can only get, they get out of me, you know. I know that things can only get better. Another first class effort by Lang Warren Secondary College. Now let's see Bell Ring Secondary College. amazing and there's plenty more where that came from because coming up we're going to take you for the ride of your life do some speed racing and take a look at the tight well thousands of people come to watch these Steadfords. they sit in the audience and they get to see what happens on the stage what they miss out on is the friendship and the cooperation that develops amongst the backstage crew It's called uh, Have the Ride of Your Life, and it's about the Tour de France. A comical look at the Tour de France.
from Tintern Anglican College. So let's find out what their theme's all about. Our theme is uh, humanity versus industry. We're trying to project a, uh, an image of development from the coal mine into the factory with a mechanisation um, and then to the workplace, the commercial outfit. style, how to commute in a three-button suit with that weary executive smile. This book is all that I need, how to, how to succeed, how to observe personnel, how to select whom to lunch with, how to avoid petty friends, how to begin making contacts, how to walk into a conference room with an idea, brilliant business idea that will... Well, that was Tintern Anglican Girls Grammar School. Now, the theme of this event is winning is great and being in it is better. Of course, without using drugs or alcohol. So we wanted to find out if the message is getting through. 
Oh, it's getting through loud and clear, mate. Loud yeah, you're definite about that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, students can do things that they really enjoy, like getting up on stage, and they can actually show what they feel about the drug message and everything. Some schools do the rockest efforts about alcohol and drug abuse. I think it works really well. Um, I think really well because we've just had the best time here tonight. We're all up dancing before and everyone's just having a fantastic time without, you know, any drugs or any alcohol. We're just all really happy. <laughs> uh, so Cass, do you think that the anti-drug message is getting through to the students? Definitely. I think that most people understand that going into the Rock of Steadford is one way of celebrating without alcohol and I think it's great. Yeah, I do. What's the best part about being involved with it? In Rock of Steadford? Just the fun, the togetherness that everyone has together. And it shows that you can have a good time without drugs and alcohol. And it's definitely just the biggest high just coming to this Rock of Steadford and doing it. I mean, everyone just gets so high. You don't need, you don't need alcohol standards. or drugs or anything. It's just the biggest high without them, so, yep. So what would you say if somebody offered you a cigarette? No, no way. way! No way! Definitely no, not! No way! We Wouldn't get our highs it. without drugs. Yeah. Well, it certainly looks like the message is getting through. On the stage now, we have Shelford. some fantastic performances from some very talented people and this next group are no exception. Here's St Columbus College.
Jackson. Shoot for a rumor. Gun for a Jackson. Shoot for a rumor. Estimated in the last two hours, three million people have moved out along the roads. North. Much of the river parkway is still kept open for motor traffic. Boyd bridges to Long Island, hopelessly jammed. All communication with Jersey Shore closed ten minutes ago. No more defenses. Our army is wiped out. Artillery. Air Force, everything wiped out. Maybe the last broadcast. We'll stay here to the end. People are holding service here below us. The cathedral. Now I look down the harbor, all, all manner of boats. Overloaded with fleeing population, pulling out from the docks. Streets are all jammed. Noise and crowds like New Year's Eve in the city. The sound ceased. Well, I'd say by far the busiest part of this building at the moment is just behind the stage. This is where, come showtime, everything needs to be moved on and moved off the stage very quickly. So what's involved with your job? Um, I don't know, um, movie sets, um, looking up sets, building sets, um, set changes, making sure the dancers are performing right, um, make sure they're quiet on the wings, make sure they're not moving on the wings. Um, I don't know, just everything. Just, yeah, making sure everything's running smoothly behind stage and on stage. So you have, like, big sets. How do you manage to lug them here in the first place? Um, we have parents using, say, they have trucks. We use their trucks and just have muscles. muscles. So you need muscles to be backstage? You don't necessarily need oh, muscles, you need brains. Where do you get all your energy from to do this? Um, it's just the hype. It's just the, it's just like the adrenaline pumping through you without any, like, anything. It's just like, you're just, just so hyped up about it doing it anyway. What sort of things do you have to do in your four minutes? Four minutes, we've got to set up all the sets. They're all disassembled at the moment, so we've got to put them all together, run them up the ramp. Had them all set up in four minutes, so it's a lot of effort, yeah. How much backstage crew do you need to get it up in time? Well, we've got 20 people in the backstage crew and three people in the lighting crew. I've noticed that you all happen to have matching outfits. Any particular reason? <laughs> yeah, we've got to hide from the audience and we're all under boxes, got black beanies or balaclavas so no one can see us. So not only do you have to have everything up there in four minutes, but you've got to do it without anyone seeing you. Yep, that's the trick. <laughs> Well, I can tell you, they certainly work very hard back there. And now, with their sets in place, are the students from Coringle.
We'll be back after the break with the very last school in this year's state final about their theme. Well, we're actually showing what happened to the Titanic. Uh, we build it on stage, then we launch it with simply the best, then we sail it, and finally the um, iceberg crashes into it. in the 1994 National Drug Offensive Rockers Deadford TV special. Be sure to tune in for that one on October the 2nd at 2 o'clock on Channel 9. Who knows, one of the scores you saw today may end up in the final. I'm Sophie Formica and remember this has been a 100% alcohol and smoke... Next on Nine, Wide World of Sports presents a telecast of the Winfield Rugby League Cup Final, Canberra versus North Sydney. Who's up with you? Australia, welcome to the 1994 National Drug Offensive Rocker Stedford TV special. Two hours of the best from the north, south, east and west. Proudly sponsored for the seventh year in a row by the National Drug Offensive. Counting down the 500 secondary schools and 50,000 students who entered in 1994. From Hobart to Darwin, from Perth to Townsville, Brisbane, Lismore, Sydney, Adelaide, Melbourne and beyond. We've taken 82 absolutely live Rocker Stedford shows and tied them up in a video parcel for our television judges to unwrap and decide who will be this year's national champion. 
Are you set to sweat? This is the afternoon you've all been waiting for. The 1994 National Drug Offensive Rocker Stedford Television Special. Hi, I'm Jo Beth Taylor. And I'm Stephen Jacobs. I feel like I'm in a bit of a fancy dress party. Mm, with that jacket, you could be. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> well, hold on to your seats, Australia, because this year's National Drug Offensive Rocker Stedford Television Special is going to be the best ever. Now, if you aren't one of the 50,000 students or 500 schools who entered this year's National Rock of Stedford, or one of the hundreds of thousands of Australians who saw the performances live... Or if you are and you just can't wait to see yourself on television... Stay tuned. The cream of Australia's Rock of Stedford secondary schools are about to present the performances that will see one of them crown the 1994 National Drug Offensive Rock of Stedford champion. National Drug Offensive Rocker Stedford Champion. Should we announce it now or build well, up the tension? Maybe for a it could of be hours? one of the Queensland regional winners. Oh.
Steve, looking at those schools, any one of them could be a winner. Yes, and it gets even tougher, Joe Beth. Check out the top three schools from Brisbane. Fantastic Brisbane. Today, the judges will choose the best school performance from each capital city and each regional centre of every state and territory. This will narrow the field down to 14 finalists and finally the 1994 National Rocker Stedford champion. Now, the state and territory finalists don't miss out because they get some fantastic prizes from Sanyo, including this VHS video cassette recorder and a 38 centimetre twin speaker colour TV valued at $1,100. And our national champion will receive compliments from Sanyo, a VHS hi-fi stereo video cassette recorder, a 68 centimetre stereo colour TV and a compact lightweight 8 millimetre camcorder at a value of $6,000 plus this fabulous gold CD. Mm, better prizes than Funniest Home Videos. Oh, please. Well, during the year we get thousands of letters asking us all sorts of things like who dresses Joe Beth? You look fabulous. Tonight, Thank you. By the way. <laughs> and also the main question we get is what is a rocker Stedford? Rock, an American invention, gained popularity when Elvis Presley discovered his hips. Often involves dancing and having a good time. It spread worldwide when young people said, this is my kind of music. A Stedford, a Welsh word meaning a national or local gathering for musical competitions. The Rock of Stedford, as we know and love it, is a truly Australian idea. It's a celebration of creativity, commitment and cooperation. It's a celebration of all aspects of the performing arts. Each school chooses a theme. It might be political.
It might be a strong social statement. You can just have some fun with it. It can be fantasy, comedy, or really whatever takes your fancy. Then the fun begins. Once the theme is chosen, everyone gets to play a part. Researchers, set and costume designers, choreographers, performers and backstage crew. Everyone is part of a team. Rocker Steadford has helped provide the impetus to launch the careers of many of our current wave of actors, performers, choreographers and set designers. People like Peter Andre. Sal Coco. Just to cheer you up, young lady. I'm not interested. Well, I haven't even said it yet. Yeah, well, I'm still not interested. Even if it can crack you into the big time? No offence, Comrade. I've heard it all before. Yeah, well, I've only got two. And Tony Piran. Yeah. Peter, Sal and Tony have all been big supporters of the drug offensive's Speed Catches Up With You campaign. So, don't go away, because after the break, we'll rock you with Tasmania's best schools. Joining today's winning schools is three wildcard entries selected by our television director. You don't need drugs and alcohol to help be your best. All you need is you. Be your best at the 1994 Rock of Stetford. like all amphetamines, is made from dangerous chemicals. What's even worse, it's made in illegal backyard labs. I need to know what he's had, mate. He's just had some speed. The reality with taking okay, speed mate. is you never know who made it or what's in it. Just breathe deeper. You hear me? Speed catches up with you. 6.30 tonight. Doesn't everybody know the man from Snowy River? An old flame. The bank's calling in our mortgage. A new enemy. You know why. A mystery haunts the high country. And the events that follow... I found gold. ...would change their lives forever. Get off my land! You sign back 10% of your share of the mine. He tricked me. Channel 9's outstanding new series... I'm rich. ...hailed by the critics. And I'm gonna buy you out. 6.30 tonight. Banjo Patterson's The Man from Snowy River. How does McDonald's make those great bacon and egg McMuffins? One freshly cracked egg at a time. I used to come oh, Kathy and Cameron are laughing all the way to the bank because the National has held down the home loan variable rate to just 8.75%. And that's just one of the savings you enjoy with a National tailored home loan. One bank continues to lead the way in home loan savings. And that's the National. More than ever, tailoring banking to your needs. That's right, you can see. Call the National now on 008. How would you like to stretch your weekend?
With everyone concerned about healthy eating these days, it's good to know just how much fat is in your diet. And if you look down the scale of foods, each with their percentage of fat, you might be surprised how low in fat some things really are. Like milk, which is less than 4% fat. That's right, less than 4%. Milk, low in fat. Oz Lotto Jackpot is growing even bigger. Now it's up to $8 million. So make sure you're covered on Tuesday. Another day, another $8 million. To know what he's had, mate. He's just had some speed. The reality with taking okay, speed mate. is you never know who made it or what's in it. Just breathe deeper. You hear me? Speed catches up with you. Now, if you could pick uh, one part of the Rock of Steadford that you would say would be the hardest, what would it be? Oh, I think being a judge. Yes, definitely. I definitely. It's a real challenge. from all those performances. Mm, well, fortunately, our Rock of Steadford judges are used to the responsibilities that go hand in hand with that job. Our judges look at five aspects of each school's performance. There's concept and creativity. Pumping out 150 channels, 24 hours. Skill or performance ability. <laughs> Stage presentation and execution. <laughs> Music selection and interpretation. And of course, teamwork. <laughs> So let's find out a bit more about our judges. Pam Barnes is the producer of Hey Hey It's Saturday and has been involved in the rock of Stedford for many years. Rhonda Skepsi, as an actor, singer, writer, producer and director, is another of our judges. With 35 years' experience, Ronnie Burns has vast knowledge in the business and is currently host of the Nine Network Strike It Lucky. With young talent diamond, that's dancing to her credit. Maggie Burns has 25 years of dance and production experience. Phil Lambert is also a 25-year member of the industry and has worked on all the major nine network productions. Well, Daryl Summers is not only a great friend of the Rock of Stedford, he's also our official judges spokesperson, and he's joining us right now, uh, having a bit of fun over there in the <laughs> studio. Uh, Daryl? Yes, uh, yes, sorry, Steve. Here. Sorry, Fire Hydrant. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the show. Just, we've invited some of the gang in to just, uh, and I'm just doing a bit, they might get in, they might invite me next year to be in it. Great, that's great. <laughs> I've got to go back to school, though. It's <laughs> not hard, I've spent six years, the best years of my life I've spent in grade four. Uh, it's great to be here, and I'm, as you know, spokesperson for the judges. I don't have to say anything yet naturally because they haven't judged anything yet. <laughs> but I will tell you that it's important, the judging. They are judging purely by the television performances, mm -hmm. not by any live performances, because we couldn't afford to take all of the judges and take them to every state of Australia and then into the Territory to see all of the performances. So they're sitting watching six hours of video and we wish them luck, because that's a lot of How are they going with it up there? Well, they're starting to tear the hair out slowly, but <laughs> that's because the standard is so good. Yeah, that's but great. it really is good. So well, we look forward to announcing later on. Got a date for the poodle. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Joe. <laughs> okay, now let's go straight to where the action is. Introducing the 1994 Tasmanian Regional winner. Let's go straight to all the action at the Launceston Silverdome to see the top three winning schools. I'll put you into my head. 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 I
congratulations, Tasmania. After the break, we head across to Adelaide to check out what's happening there. And coming up, we meet the very groovy Reg Mombasa, who's the man responsible for all of the fabulous Rocker Stedford posters and all of the artwork that the students like to take home and pin up on their walls. I've got a few in my place, too. Excellent. This celebration of young Australian talent is brought to you by the National Drug Offensive. Well, here we are with some of the unsung heroes of the Rocker Stedford, the stagehands out the back. How you doing, guys? Yeah! Yeah! So tell me, how much work goes into being a stagehand? A, a lot. lot. About six months of full rehearsals, 14-hour weeks. A lot of work. <laughs> but it's a worth it. It is worth it gone. at the end. It is brilliant at the end. You even have to rehearse to be a stagehand, do you? Yes, 14-hour yeah. weeks of rehearsal, painting, set building. Again. Put in as we could put in. We had to practice person. with these huge stairs and these big flats, Everyone these big triangular be... things and clouds, yeah. and it was amazing. Paint, paint them all and it. get them all yeah, ready. Totally and... worth it. Unreal. Yeah, totally worth it. <laughs> posters and especially the t-shirts and over the past few years one man's work has become synonymous with the rock of Stedford and that's Reg Mombasa the evergreen guitarist and songwriter from legendary rock band Mental As Anything. Reg is no slouch when it comes to painting either he's one of the prime movers behind the Mambo range of gear and as far as the rock of Stedford goes Reg's style and sense of humour has added a whole new visual dimension to the event. Um, oh, well, it's, I mean, for me, it's a good job because as far as doing freelance stuff, I don't do that much. I only mainly do it for Mambo and I have exhibitions of my own paintings. I don't really like to do anything outside of the music sort of uh, art theatre area, so it kind of ties in with that. And obviously it's a, it's a good thing for kids. They, they enjoy it. It's uh, healthy competition between the high schools, a non-violent competition. And, uh, and I'll hopefully, you know, it'll turn out a few good stage designers and um, dancers and lighting people. Reg Mombasa, a very talented guy, and he's also a great supporter of the Rocker Stedford. When it comes to supporting the Rocker Stedford, it's the enthusiasm and cooperation between students and teachers alike that really makes you realise what the word commitment means. Mrs Brown has played a huge part in it, as she always does. She just organises all the choreography and just makes everything work out and how you see it on the night. Um, well, we've got some parents um, doing like sewing costumes, organising, and also a few teachers have volunteered. And do you think it's important to sort of work with your teachers? Yeah, yeah. It's really a lot of teamwork with the students and the teachers as well. It's really fun. Why do you want to pull the time in? Well, I think it's the teamwork giving everyone an opportunity that they don't usually get in the general curriculum and generally just having a good time. And do you think the relationship between teachers and students is enhanced by all the work that you're putting together? Oh, definitely, yeah. 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 We've come much closer. Yeah. <laughs> we're pretty close. Yeah, oh, you yeah. see these people as humans yeah. instead of little yeah. <laughs> students. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think great. it's the same with us too. They see us as human beings instead of uh, your teachers. Right. Yeah. Uh, all the guys got together, all the kids, we got together and talked about it at the beginning of the year and um, the kids had a real big input into it, in, in designing. And do you think the Rock of Stedford helps with like the student-teacher relationship? Oh, definitely. Yeah, they love me, I think so. <laughs> and what about the student-teacher relationship? Has it brought you closer together? Yep, it really has. It's really shown us another side to the teachers, a side that we never see at school. Oh, I know I know. from my personal point of view, I think as a teacher, you, know, you, you go to school every day and you, you do your everyday job, but being involved with the kids after school, you, they just seem to... To, to enjoy coming to school, the, the closeness in, you know, between the students' relationship. Um, you know, they come and see you every morning with smiles on their faces and they, they give you birthday parties and birthday cakes and you know, there they just seem to be a bond there that you just wouldn't get in your normal classroom. It's just something special. It's very hard to describe. So it is really possible to get close to teachers? Not that close, but close, yeah. <laughs> just once a year, just once a year. Once a year. <laughs> Steve, what do you get out of it? Oh, well, I think it's one of the most exciting things you can do with kids. I mean, to be in a classroom all the time and, uh, and uh, just be able to step outside uh, a couple of times a week and uh, on a night like this in a professional atmosphere is uh, just another level that you can take your teaching and your um, understanding of kids too. It's a fantastic thing. Yeah, and it's not only the students and the teachers sharing in the spirit of the Rock of Stedford, but everyone gets involved. Friends, family, the whole community gets right behind the event. Yeah, we've, we've had lots of support through sponsorship and... Um, all that sort of thing, they've really supported us. Brother Ken's just been the biggest support and all the parents as well and even the canteen ladies and clothing pool ladies get in behind us and they're out there in the audience too. 
tonight. Oh, nine long months, nine very long months, and there hasn't been a day gone by when me and my mum haven't worked on them. <laughs> We've been working on them for nine months, and it's just been a really long time. Sometimes I just wanted to pack it in, and then I thought, no, I've got to do it for the dancers. And then when we win, it's just the best feeling because like, I know that I help them get there and it's just been really great when, they, when we win together because that way we're a big part of the team and we're all working together. It's just the best feeling. It's been such a growth process when we competed in Lismore. It was just like a country town competition that we participated in and the children have just kept on growing with it. The costumes became bolder as they kept on titivating it and the, the set designs became bolder when we came down the last time and this time it's even more so. And it's just been such an incredible growth process to see how both the students and the teachers have grown with it to accommodate each new situation as they've met it. The Rock of Stedford really does bring people together. And talking of bringing people together, let's take a look at what's going down in Adelaide. Way to go, Adelaide. Let's step straight into Canberra. Coming up after the break, we'll take a look at Melbourne get any better, and every year it does. I bet our TV judges are already sweating over the results, and we haven't even hit halfway mark yet. Mm, that's right. If you thought Pete Sampras and Steffi Graf were hot, wait until you see what's going down at Melbourne's tennis centre.
Shoot for a rumor. Gun for a Jackson. Shoot for a rumor. Fantastic performances by Melbourne. Yeah, and it's fantastic that each and every school receives a $125 grant from Deep Youth Access Centres to help them make the journey from rehearsal to performance a reality. Yeah, when you add that up, that works out at $65,000 nationally. That's a lot of money. That's a lot. After the break, we're going to see more schools from Victoria. And it's just real high without the drugs. It's really good. You had some best out some drugs and alcohol. And if you're a drug, you wouldn't be able to do this for a job. Yeah. What about the drug free theme? How do you think that helps with the Rock of Steadford? It's really good. It makes it makes us like get a high without drugs. So. I think it's great how we all support a drug free environment and I think it's really important in today's lifestyle to really push it through and say no drugs. And you think the anti-drug message is getting through? Um, yeah, I do. Yeah, it's um, good to see um, everybody out and not everybody smoking outside or um, yeah, it's really good. Now, how do you think the anti-drug message is getting through to the students? Um, I think really well because we've just had the best time here tonight. We're all up dancing before and everyone's just having a fantastic time without, you know, any drugs or any alcohol. We're just all really happy. <laughs> so what would you say if somebody offered you a cigarette? Um, I'd say that I wouldn't need it because I'm just having such a great time anyway and it's bad for your health. So how do you think the anti-drug message is getting through to the students? Well it has to because you are physically dancing and performing and mm. you just can't sustain the energy if you're drinking, taking drugs or smoking or doing stupid things like that. I mean it's just they don't mix together. Yeah. And it's definitely just the biggest high just coming to these Rock of and doing it. I mean everyone just gets so high. You don't need, you don't need alcohol so or drugs or anything. How do you think the drug offensive message is getting through to the students? Can't for what she believes. This is here at the Sydney Entertainment Centre. Over the past seven years now, the Drug Offensive has been sponsoring the Rock of Steadford TV specials. So let's take a closer look at the kind of things the Drug Offensive has done over these years. Trust me. And they're very serious about giving us the straight up facts about alcohol and other drugs. So let's take all that positive 100% drug free Rock of Steadford energy and move into performance mode with all the Victorian regional winners.
to go Victoria. Each year the Rocker Stepford clocks up 200,000 kilometres covering some 40 major city and regional centres in every state and territory right around Australia. Last year Alice Springs entered the Rocker Stepford competition for the very first time. And this year they're back with an even bigger performance. Congratulations to the Alice Springs winner. at the top end of Australia. Let's see the top three Darwin schools. Fantastic effort by Darwin. One of the best things about the Rocker Stedford is talking to the students about what it like means to all of them. 
What's the best part about being involved with the Rock of Stedford? Uh, dancing, doing costumes, getting closer. Our school is a small school and we've just got to know everybody so much and I'm new so I've met so many new people it's just great. What do you think is so exciting about the Rock of Stedford? Um, basically just the atmosphere, everybody being here, excitement and definitely just performing on stage in front of the audience. Uh, it's so exciting because you get together with a group of friends. The performers and 20 backstage crew to put together. Four minutes to set up and eight minutes to perform. A Rock of Stedford performance. attracts more support from the stars of television, music and dance than any other youth event. This is what some of them had to say about 1994's live performances. Hi. Being a musician has taken me all over the world and one of the ways I got started was playing in a Steadfords. Watch the 1994 Rock of Steadford and remember, if you take drugs, you never hit the right note. Congratulations to everyone in this year's Rock of Stedford. Good fun, great talent and no drugs. It's fantastic to see Australia's future stars on stage. 50,000 students having the time of their lives. Now before we go to a packed Perth's Burswood Dome, let's congratulate the winners of the Bunbury and Geraldton events. Who's the leader of the to the top three schools from Perth's Burswood Dome. Gonna set my soul, gonna set my soul on fire. 
got a whole lot of money that's ready to burn So get those stakes up higher There's a thousand pretty women waiting out there They're all living, the devil may care And I am just a devil with love to spare So Viva Las Vegas Viva Las Vegas How I wish that there were more than 24 hours in the day even if there were 40 more, I wouldn't sleep a minute away. Oh, there's blackjack and poker and the roulette wheel. A fortune won and lost on every deal. All you need is strong heart and a nose. So how did you manage to become part of the backstage? Romance. Romance.
the break. We'll be back with the video. Too loud. Too get a bit sore. Bigger venues like the Sydney Entertainment Centre where you can hear feet stomping and crowds roaring and there's a huge adrenaline rush. Now we're going to take a look at the Sydney Entertainment Centre but first up we're going to check out the Best of the Open Division. I'm a little messy with a blue 
drug offence of Rock Ascent for television special finalists. The judges have narrowed the field down to 14 state and territory winners and finally to the big one. Who will be the number... Separating the very fine talent for the judges, three of them are already on oxygen. It really is a tough task but they've narrowed it down from 35 schools down to 14 and it's my very pleasant duty now to announce the National Drug Offensive TV special finalists for 1994 are... From Regional Northern Territory, Centralian College. From Darwin, Catherine High School. Regional Tasmania, Elizabeth College. Launceston, Penguin High School. From regional WA, Mandura Senior High School. Got a whole lot of money that's ready to burn, so get those stakes up higher. There's a thousand pretty women waiting out there. They're all living, the devil may care. And I am just a devil with love to spare. So be my Las Vegas. Be my Las Vegas. How I wish that there were than the 24 hours in the day Not even if there were 40 more Sometimes you have to From Perth, Hadbury Senior High School Area, Norwood, Morialta High School. From Canberra, St. Clair's College.
Brisbane, the Miami State High School. Regional Victoria, Ballerine Secondary College. Shoot a rumor. See a From Melbourne, St Columbus College. New South Wales, Trinity Catholic College. And from Sydney, Rudy Hill High School. announce the winner for us. Welcome back, Daryl. Okay, Come on, Daryl. The judges are exhausted, but they have chosen a winner. Great. And that winner is going to receive this beautiful CD that I have here, covering up the name of the winner, of course, And because now I'm going to ask if you have it upstairs for a drum roll. Thank you. The drug offensive Rocker Steadford winner for 1994 is... St. Columbus College from Essendon in Victoria. Fantastic. Congratulations. They win the gold CD plus another fabulous prize, which is $6,000 worth of gear from Sanyo that you see on your screen. Look at that gear. We'll have fun sharing that up amongst them, won't they? Certainly will. Carve it up in very small pieces. Bye. Thank you very much, Daryl. Congratulations from all of us to all of you at St. Columbus College. You put in the hard work, you had fun, and now you turned up a real winner. Well, that's it from Joe Beth Taylor and myself. If you've enjoyed the show half as much as we have presenting it, then we've all had a fantastic time. Now, please just sit back and thoroughly enjoy this year's 1994 National Drug Offensive Rocker Stedford Champions, St. Columbus College. Well Congratulations. Done. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for, Michael Jackson, the King of Pop.
Kerry Hayes, Peter Showquist and the National Drug Offensive would like to thank every venue, school, parent and supporter, from radio, television and print media around the nation, to the last minute dashes to the local costume shop for another metre of lace for that wonderful costume. Thanks for being there to make the Rocker Stedford Australia's number one youth event. In 1995, parts of Australia... National Drug now a fresh story unfolds each
Visit Australia's largest rhododendron garden. This is the place to come. Check out the cover that protects cars from hail damage. Simple as that. Plus a personalised tour of the Daintree Rainforest in the Great Outdoors, Friday on 7. Welcome back. I'm with uh, Gary and uh, Joel and a couple of people from Adelaide who went to the toilet during uh, the last segment have returned. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> Jackie and Jeff. Jeff, long drive over from Adelaide. Long, long, drive. Lo lo <laughs> long drive over from Adelaide, mate. Oh, it was a good train trip. Oh, you, you came over on the train. Excellent. Yeah. And how long are you over for? Oh, for good now, I suppose. Are you living here? Yeah. Or you can't afford the fare back? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. As long as it takes. And yeah. uh, and then are you, are you on your way around Australia or? No, no. Oh, if some money fell my way, I might. But. And Jackie, uh, you're here for a, you're a, you're a couple. You're an item. Yeah, we're here to get married in January. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> and uh, and uh, the good part is Australia. You're all invited to that wedding. That's, uh... <laughs> with, uh, with Christmas approaching, we thought we'd do something a little Christmassy tonight. It's a song from the new CD, Jive Turkey's Christmas Comedy Cavalcade, which comes out next week. Touching tale of a boy and his love for animals. A little Greek shepherd boy. Would you please welcome with this touching ballad, George Caponiaris and the Fearless. <laughs> 